everybody, welcome to another Yarn Scrap Friday crochet tutorial with me Laura and in this week's video I'm going to be showing you how to make this teeny tiny little cat. Very quick little project and it's got a little witch's hat and a tiny little pumpkin as well. So let's begin. So for this tutorial I'm using a sport baby weight yarn, so it's a yarn weight of two. Um, with that I'm using quite a small crochet hook, a two millimeter crochet hook. Um, we're going to need a cat colour, um, we're going to need maybe some black for the eyes, we're going to, I think for this particular pumpkin I'm going to make a cream coloured pumpkin and I think it'll have a little brown stalk, uh, maybe some purple for the hat and I think that's it. You're also going to need some toy stuffing, so out comes the Kirby bag for some toy stuffings, you can use yarn scraps as well for stuffing. A pair of scissors and a yarn needle as well which I've lost but I'll find later. <laughs> okay so let's begin. Okay so we're going to start off with our cat colour, so the main body of the cat and we're going to work eight single crochet into a magic loop, magic circle or a chain four loop. So I use the chain four method, I use the magic loop on my, my other cat but let's start off with a slip knot, hopefully it's a little bit easier for beginners. So we're going to chain four, one, two, three, four, put our hook into our first chain, bring the yarn through the first chain and straight through the loop on your hook and you've got a tiny little circle of chains and we're going to do a little chain one, don't count that as a stitch. Then putting your hook into the centre of this loop, so be careful not to put it in your first chain again which looks bigger, right in the middle. We're going to bring the yarn through and work a single crochet. So this pattern's in US terminology, so in UK terms that's going to be a double crochet and we want eight of those, so that's one, two, just wrapping it around the chains, three, seven, and one more, eight. Okay, so we've got eight single crochet in a four chain loop and I carried my tail so I can just pull that tail end to bring in the centre hole. You can sew that close if it's too big. Then we're going to find our first single crochet. Just put your hook into there, bring the yarn through and then straight through the loop on your hook to do a slip stitch to join the round. Okay so by the end of that round you should have a stitch count of eight and then moving on to the next round we're going to start with a little chain one and again don't count that as a stitch. Then going back into the same stitch we just slip stitched into we're going to do two single crochet. So one and another one in the same stitch. And we're going to do two single crochet in each stitch around until we've got a stitch count of 16. So we're going to go into the next stitch, work two single crochet, one and two, and just work two single crochet in each stitch around. So I shall do that and I shall come back and you should have a stitch count of 16. Okay, just coming up to the last two. Uh, the last, yeah, the last two single crochet in the last stitch, so one and two. <laughs> and then we're going to skip, it always sometimes looks like there's another stitch at the end, but that's just your previous slip stitch, or the fake stitch as I call it. Skip that, skip the tiny chain one, then find your first single crochet and slip stitch into there to join the round. So we should have a stitch count of 16 now. What we're going to do now is going to do a little chain one again, don't count that as a stitch. And we're going to do one single crochet, just one, in the first four stitches. So go back into the same stitch you just slip stitched into. Work a single crochet and do that in the first four. So next stitch, two. Next stitch, three. Oops. Try that again, next stitch three, next stitch four, so one single crochet in the first four, 
Then we're going to create his first little foot, his little paw. So we're going to chain four, one, two, three, and four. We're going to slip stitch in the same stitch as our previous single crochet. So slip stitch into there. Then we're going to do one single crochet in the next six. Okay, so the next six. So next stitch, one. Next stitch, two. Next stitch, five. And the next stitch, six. Okay, so one single crochet in the next six. And then we're going to do his other paw. So again, chain four, one, two, three, four. Slip stitch in the same stitch as your previous single crochet. So slip stitch into there. And then we're going to do one single crochet in the next four. So next stitch, one. Next stitch, two. Next stitch, three. Next stitch, four. Then we're going to create his tail. So we're going to chain nine this time. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So chain nine. We're going to do one uh, slip stitch in our second chain from our hook. So we don't count the loop on our hook. There's our first chain, there's our second. So we're going to slip stitch into there. And we're going to slip stitch all the way back to the main cat. So slip stitch back to the beginning. There should be eight in total. Okay, so slip stitch in the last chain. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have two stitches left. So we're going to do one single crochet in the last two. So single crochet in there and single crochet in the last stitch as well. And then we just slip stitch into our first single crochet to join the round. Okay, so moving on to the next round, what we're going to do is we're going to start off with a little chain one, don't count that as a stitch. And we're going to do one single crochet in each stitch around, but we want to skip the chains and the slip stitches. So the first thing we do though is we're going to do one single crochet in the first four. So starting in the same stitch you just slip stitched into, do a single crochet, so first one, and then the next stitch, single crochet, two, next stitch, three, and next stitch, four, which is, tends to be a bit bigger right next to those chains. So one single crochet in the first four. Then you want to skip all these chain, chains and a slip stitch. Um, but the main thing to do is just find the next single crochet. So it's going to be here. So just put your hook into there. <laughs> it made mine too small. Put your hook into there. Bring the yarn through. But before you do it, just pop that little foot forward, all those chains forward. Give it a good tug. So it reminds me of making the fog from frog from last week. I can't speak today. And then finish your single crochet. Okay. And in between these feet, there are six single crochets. So that's your first one. So next stitch, two. Next stitch, three. Next stitch, four, next stitch five, and the next stitch six, which is the one that always looks bigger, six. And again, we find we want to skip this, all these chains and find your next single crochet, which is here. Bring the arm through, but before you finish, just pop all those chains through, give it a good tug and then finish your single crochet. And in between this foot and the tail, there are four. So that's your first single crochet. Next stitch, two. Next stitch, three. Next stitch, four. Next stitch, four. Now this 
might look like a single crochet here but it's not okay so it's just four so if you've counted four you're good so what you want to do now is just find the last two single crochet one and two find that next one here again bring the yarn through and this time we need to pop the whole tail through so it can be easier actually if you just do that before you find the stitch just tuck it down find that next single crochet make sure those the whole tail is to the front give it a tug finish the single crochet and there's two at the end so that's the first one and then the last one two okay and then that's our fake stitch find your first single crochet and slip stitch into there and you should have a stitch count of 16 so slightly off camera there sorry so then I'm just going to tuck this tail end inside. Now what we want to do is we want to do, what do we want to do? We want to do one round of one single crochet in each stitch around, just one round. So we do a chain one, don't count that as a stitch. Going back into the same stitch we just slip stitched into, do a single crochet and do one single crochet in each stitch around keeping a stitch count of 16 so I shall do that and then I shall come back okay just coming up to the last stitch 16 single crochet in there then slip stitch into your first single crochet to join the round okay so hopefully you've got something that looks like this with his little feet sticking out his tail on the right side now what we're going to do is create his little pause and so this time we do a chain one don't count that as a stitch i'm going to do one single crochet in the first six so going back into the same single crochet we just slip stitch into do one single crochet next stitch two next stitch three next stitch four Next stitch five, next stitch six. Okay, so one single crochet in the first six, and it's the same as the feet, we just chain four one, two, three, four. Slip stitch in the same single crochet as your previous single crochet. Then we're going to do one single crochet in the next four. So next stitch, one, next stitch, two, next stitch, three, next stitch, four. So one single crochet in the next four. Then again, we're going to chain four, one, two, three, four, slip stitch in the same single crochet as your previous single crochet and then we should have six stitches remaining we're going to do one single crochet in the last six so next stitch one next stitch two to the end okay and then we're just going to slip stitch in the first single crochet to join the round okay so that's this little pause made what we're going to do now is we're going to do one single crochet in each stitch around but we're going to skip these chains this time so what we do is a little chain one don't count that as a stitch and do a neater one than me <laughs> let me just redo that okay chain one okay so between the beginning and the first pour we have uh, six stitches so Go back, start in the same stitch as your previous slip stitch, one, next stitch, two, next stitch, three, next stitch, four, next stitch, five, and next stitch, six. Okay, then we want to skip 
his little paw. So we want to find the next single crochet, which is here. Put your hook into there, bring the yarn through. But before we finish, pop those chains to the front. Give it a nice tug and finish that single crochet. And in between the paws are four stitches. So that's our first one. Next stitch, two. Next stitch, three. Next stitch, four. Same thing again. Find the next single crochet, which is here. Put your hook into there. Pop the chains forward. Give it a tug. Do your single crochet. And there's six at the end. So that's your first one. Next stitch, two. And just single crochet to the end. Three. And then slip stitch in the first single crochet to join the round. Okay, so that's the end of that round and hopefully his little paws are sticking forward as well. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do two rounds of just one single crochet in each stitch around. So we're keeping a stitch count of 16. So we start off with chain one, don't count that as a stitch. Starting in your same stitch as your previous slip stitch, work a single crochet. So do one single crochet in each stitch around and do that for two rounds. Okay, two rounds. So I shall do that and then I shall come back. Okay, so just coming up to the last stitch on the second round, one single crochet, and then just slip stitch to join. So you should still have a stitch count of 16. Okay, hopefully it looks like this. And we're just going to finish up now. And what we're going to do is we're going to just do a little chain one. Don't count that as a stitch. And we're going to slip stitch in the first three. So starting in the same stitch we just slip stitched into, work a slip stitch. <laughs> then a slip stitch in the next stitch. There's a lot of S's. <laughs> slip stitch in the next stitch, three. So slip stitch in the first three. Then we're going to do one single crochet in the next four. So the next stitch work a single crochet. One. Single crochet in the next stitch, two. Single crochet in the next stitch, three. Single crochet in the next stitch, four. Then we're going to slip stitch in the next three. So slip stitch in the next stitch. Slip stitch in the next stitch. Slip stitch in the next stitch. Then we're going to do one single crochet in the next four. Single crochet in the next stitch. In the next stitch, two. Next stitch, three. And next stitch, four. And then you have two stitches left. We're going to slip stitch into those. So slip stitch into the next stitch and slip stitch into the last stitch. Okay, and we're not going to slip stitch to join. What we're going to do is we're just going to cut our yarn, leave a long tail for sewing, and we're just going to pull that through. And you should hopefully have something that looks like this. Okay, we're going to take our yarn needle, thread on that tail end, and what we're going to do is an invisible join. So what we want to do is find that first slip stitch and then the next slip stitch. We're going to put our needle through that second slip stitch. Let's bring that down, don't pull it too tightly. And then we come back and then find your last stitch and just go into the back loop only. So this is the whole stitch here, you can see. And just go into that back loop. And what that does is create a nice invisible join. You can't really see where the join is. And then what we want to do is we want to, we need to stuff our little cat. So we're going to take some stuffing, just put some stuffing inside. Okay, and when you finished stuffing, what we're going to do is you just want to flatten the top down and we're going to sew and join those two edges together. So match up your little ears and 
we're going to sew that closed. So first things first, to the other side. So I'm going to do that and then come back and show you what to do. So I'm going to have to go to this end and then come back. <laughs> and then once you've finished sewing that together, we're just going to hide our tail end. Okay. And hopefully it looks like this. And you get the little pointy bits where the single crochet were should make tiny little ears. Okay, so what we're going to do now is just going to finish up uh, this week's video. Going to make his eyes and features. So you want two lengths of black yarn. You want a long piece and you want a small piece. And with the small piece, we're going to tie two knots into the middle on top of each other. Let's try and get them to match up. And then with the longer piece, we want to work the two knots more to one side. So closer to one end, again on top of each other, okay, like this. So taking the smaller piece first with your yarn needle, I'm going to sew this, sew the ends into his little face. So one about here, just above the paws, I think is nice. So one end in, then sew the other end in so the knots catch on the outside. Okay, let's go back in as well. Like so. Okay, then hide your tail ends and do that for the other side so you've got the other eye and then use the remaining longer tail end to create some whiskers and a mouth. So let's hide these tail ends first. Okay, so I've done that for the other side as well. And we've still got the long tail in action. So we're going to use this to just sew on some stripes or whiskers, whatever you want to call them, on either side. Just some little lines. Going from one side to the other. And then we'll just finish up with a tiny little mouth. Almost there. And then last but not least, we want a little mouth. I like to put it right between the eyes. I think that just looks really cute. And it's very simple, just a little line, like the whiskers or stripes or whatever these are. And then just hide your tail end. <laughs> There's his little mouth. So we're gonna hide our tail end and then our little cat is done. And there we go, there is our tiny little cat with very limited sewing, which is nice. But we've run out of time this week, I'm afraid, to show you the pumpkin and the hat. I need to go recharge some camera batteries. But join me next week. Make sure to, just, um, to subscribe and like this video if you've enjoyed it. And uh, if you subscribe, you'll know, you'll get notified of next week's video, Yarn Scrap Friday, where we'll be making the tiny pumpkin and the little witch's hat. In perfect time for Halloween coming very soon. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I hope you managed to follow along, especially if you're a beginner. And uh, a huge thank you as always to our monthly subscription members for helping make these types of videos possible. Huge thank you to you guys. If you are interested in our monthly subscription, we have a crochet magazine, we have behind the scenes, we have a podcast, which we do need to release very soon for our next one. And uh, so much more exclusive patterns and um, competitions and things. So it's always worth subscribing. And I will see you soon for some more crochet crafting fun. Join me next week and thanks for watching.